it's Presley at ActOutGames.com here, and today is Comic Book Thursday, and I'm going to be reviewing Gotham Academy 11 and 1872-4. Okay, so let's start with Gotham Academy. So, as always, Gotham Academy's art is really beautiful and vibrant, and it's just really nice, um, the colors. So, in a few of these pages, um, there's very specific colors. I've noticed this in like 1872 and Gotham Academy, um, mostly in 1872. There's like this one color that they're focused on for like a page or a place. Um, they just keep that specific color and it always makes it look really nice and you can even tell where everyone is kind of by the colors. So as always, Gotham Academy has a really great story and I absolutely love, love, love the way they go. And I especially like, um, they seem to kind of be incorporating a lot of like different versions of Robin with maps, which is really cool. Um, in this one, as it says on the cover, there's Red Red Robin, and the interactions between Maps and Red Robin are planned out really well. And like I like how they're incorporating different Robins with Maps, and I want to see where they're gonna, where they're going with this. Like they seem to be setting up something by introducing her to. Um, they've introduced her to a few Robins so far, so introducing her to more. I want to see what they're gonna try and do with that. So I'm excited to see what she does. I also really like that Olive is really trying to find out about her mother. Um, in this Gotham Academy, she finds out even more about her family history, and she has this whole family history of people that are called Calamity, that go by Calamity, so it's not just her mother. And Red Robin tells the tale of when Batman found Olive and, and Calamity, and it was really, really nice just to get that more, more of that backstory to Olive and Calamity. And even Calamity makes an appearance in the Gotham Academy. So this one, so I really like that it's, the Gotham Academy is getting really focused on Olive and Calamity. Like, Olive trying to find out more about her family history and her mom and the other Calamities. And I'm really excited to see where they're going to be going with that. As well as the way that Maps is meeting more and more Robins. And I'm just really, really excited for that. So I'm super duper excited to see how they're going to progress with Gotham Academy. So now let's move on to 1872, and like I said, very specific colors in this book. Um, like I've noticed that most of the outsides is, is like a bunch of tan colors, and in the in and inside rooms it's more of a dark bluey color. And the way they did that is really really nice. So in this 1872, Natasha is a really really strong female character, which I'm really really happy about. Like she's super duper strong and she even fakes being tortured when she's just kind of sitting around where and killed everybody that was supposed to be torturing her and it's just really great and I love her character in this in this issue of 1872 and then also they're building the Avengers so Peter Parker is starting to get his powers as well as the Hulk so the radioactive stuff kind of worked and now the Hulk is a thing and then um, in one of the Hulk's footprints, a spider climbs in and then makes a web near the Parker near the Parker residence. And I'm really excited about that because that means Peter Parker is going to start getting his powers, and everything is super duper amazing. And I'm really excited to see how they're going to continue this. And like I, and like I mentioned last in the last review of an 1872, Iron Man built his suit, Tony Stark built his suit, and it appears that Tony Stark is just working and constantly working. So this leads me to believe he's going to build a better suit. And in Tony Stark's first version of the Iron Man suit, he couldn't see very well because he made the eyes super duper tiny, so he punched a horse by accident. So he's probably going to make bigger eyes in the next version of the Iron Man suit, and I'm just I'm so glad this is continuing because it was so great on um, the past issues, and I was really sad to start to see it end, and it turns out it's not going to. Yay!
These are both really, 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 really great comic books, and I highly recommend both of them. They both have very beautiful colors, is one of the things that I really noticed. In 1872, the colors were very focused, as well as somewhat in Gotham Academy, but the colors were brighter, and there was less of a focus on one specific color, but they're both really, really great, and 1872 is a little bit more serious, so if you don't really want to read serious or books, then start with Gotham Academy. But they're both really, really great. So yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye!